Shares of Domino's Pizza hitting a new 52-week high today on the back of the company's Q4 earnings report. Earnings topping expectations, even though total revenue slightly missed the mark. Joining us now for an exclusive interview is Domino's CEO Russell Wiener along with our own Kate Rogers. Kate? Cord, thanks so much. And Russell, thank you for joining us today. Great to see you. Thanks, good afternoon, Kate. So you had a lot of drivers in this quarter from the revamped loyalty program, your Uber Eats partnership, of course, and then value promotions. From where you sit, what is your assessment of the consumer and consumer sentiment right now? Well, so let's talk about the consumer and then let's talk about Domino's. I think, you know, from a consumer standpoint, um, as we look into 24, at least in restaurants, we're expecting to see some pressure on order counts. Um, we don't expect to see that at Domino's Pizza. We expect to be positive in order counts. And I, I think that's part of why we had a good reaction in into our Q4 numbers. We were launching our new strategy. It's called Hungry for More. It's about delivering more sales, more stores, and more profits. Um, it's a 24 to 28 time frame, but we started to see some of the results peeking through in Q4, and it, it's exactly what you talked about. So we had product innovation. We had value with our uh, loyalty program. We had this amazing emergency pizza promotion that got a, got a lot of talk, and obviously the the, uh, the Uber promotion, uh, the, the Uber partnership as well. You mentioned value. Value has been so key for all of the restaurant players this earnings season. I'm wondering how you're evaluating value offers and deciding when and how to reach consumers with them. You know, the thing about value is it's not um, one size fits all. Um, you know, sometimes it is kind of on the top line. So if you if you see it, this part that gets into a little bit about what we're doing in Q1. So we'll have everyday value with our uh, mix and match offer. We did a, um, a carryout special, what we call a boost week, uh, where it's one of the best ones we've ever had. Um, so that's kind of top top funnel. But what we try to also do is is micro target, and that's part of what the loyalty program is all about. Some folks need to see certain things versus others. Sometimes it's price. Sometimes, let's say you're a vegetarian, you don't want to see a meat pizza. And so getting people into the top of the funnel is what our national promotions are all about. Once they're in the site and once they're in the loyalty program, we can micro-target. And that's where really things take off. Russell, Tyler Matheson here. Two questions for you. One is how do you differentiate if you had to describe why Domino's as opposed to your other national uh, chain or franchise uh, operations. Why Domino's? What's the value proposition? What's the discriminating difference that makes Domino's the place I should go? And number two, how do you compete against local pizza shops in a pizza hotbed like New Jersey, where I happen to live and happen to think we have the best pizza in the country? <laughs> I'm the Bronx, and so I, you know, we, I know, I know what kind of pizza you're talking about. Uh, you know, let me talk two ways. And Tyler, I don't think you, you maybe meant the question this way. I'll talk about consumers in a second. But what I want to talk about is why Domino's if you're a franchisee. Um, when you think about the profitability of a Domino's franchisee, it's best in the business. We were at 139 last year. We were up at 162, uh, uh, 162 uh, in uh, 23, uh, 139 kind of the year before. Uh, when you're a Domino's franchisee, uh, you've most likely started in the store. So 90, 95% of our franchisees started as delivery drivers or, or, or making pizza. So the story is one that they know the brand really well. They become owner operators. They become franchisees. Last year, we had more new franchisees than we have in the last 15 years. The other special sauce about Domino's Pizza is no outside business interest. So you're not running a Domino's Pizza and then two or three others, uh, maybe concepts. You're all in on Domino's, and that's the secret sauce. And that's why I think we have then the best things to offer customers. So value, that's not surprising every day. We've had a mix and match offer since 2010. Recently took it out a buck, but short of that, <laughs> we haven't changed. And so best pizza in the industry, operations that are back, our uh, delivery times are back to where they were prior to COVID, and pricing that you understand. Um, that's what people are looking for. 